Aarti, welcome to everyone for a special episode only in English about reversing diabetes and lifestyle disorders with millets. And this is coming because of public demand and all our overseas participants asking for a pure English session. The Hindi one has been a huge hit and we've had the hit woman with us and that is our millet woman of India, Sharmila Oswalji, who is also the head of Center of Excellence for Small Agriculture and Millets and the India Millet Mission too. So it's been very interesting conversing with you in Hindi and it's going to be nice to connect with our audience through you in English right now. So in the beginning, what I asked earlier also, and I'm going to ask her again is, uh, <clears throat> there is a reason why this year has become an international millet year. Um, and there's some thought which Honorable Prime Minister Modi ji has thought about, which has very deep roots into the Indian tradition, nutrient values, immunity, etc. So if you could throw light because she's had the benefit of being with Honorable Prime Minister on numerous occasions and she knows the insider story. So please, Sarbila ji, <laughs> do share. That Thank you audience. so much, Dr. Tripathi. It has been amazing. It is indeed pleasure to be here on Freedom from Diabetes platform, especially with you. Mm -hmm. I'm an ardent fan of you for transforming my life as well. Okay. So indeed, my gratitude to you and Freedom from Diabetes. Thank you. So as actually, this International Year of Millets has a, a story and that story, I won't go in a very detail, but like 2018-19, India had a national millet year. And uh, after that, we had pandemics, COVID. So we are going to have many more pandemics. And uh, United Nations recently, I mean, this India put up the uh, proposal for the International Year of Millets because the whole world is facing the issues of food security, mm. malnutrition. So a soldier is fighting on the borders for, let's say, a national security. But at the same time, nutritional security is the most important, significant agenda of the country. Mm. And India put this proposal that whole world should adopt it as an international year of millets so that the immunity see our Prime Minister, our, I mean, you know, it's a, such a noble initiative that India has taken up for the whole world. It's not for the only country. But uh, but our Prime Minister and India was concerned about the whole world. And that has always been the case, that India has always been on the forefront. So this proposal that uh, for the food security, for the malnutrition, the world is facing, there will be a mini pandemics. So millet year has been considered so that the diet, the food, the, uh, you know, the pattern of the, the food habitat, and I call it as a food revolution through the millets. And that's the reason why this International Year of Millets has been celebrated all across the world. I think everyone might have read it on the net, 72 countries yes. you know, agreed for it. But there's a story behind this visible story, which has roots in Indian culture and the way millets were treated for generations. And Shamila ji has been a witness of that because uh, she's called Millet Woman of India for grassroots level work that she's been doing since 2014. And that will be interesting to share your, you know, story down south, Palakkad, we were talking about yes. it offline. Yes. So, I mean, stay tuned for this particular part because this story, I guess many people know. Right. This is the in untold story, which is very, very interesting. Right. So please share that. So, uh, actually, if you all know that all world has got gift as a yoga. India has gifted yoga to the world. Okay. Ayurveda, again, it's a gift to the world. In pandemics, the whole, uh, I think, world has witnessed that how India has been very powerful with its all medicinal herbs and the way, the lifestyle, everything in the immunity way. Okay. So millets has been like thousands of years of our grain. Mm. We call it as an ancient grain. Mm. So it's not only for the India. It's also for the America. It's also for the Italy. It's also for the Africa. So all these countries does have millets in mm. their own history. Oh. Red Indians in America, Correct. they have been growing millets in America as well. Wow. So even in Italy, so foxtail millet is very popular in Italy. Mm. Germany, Japan. So these countries all are been witnessed to the millet as an ancient grain. Mm. In US, if you'll say, they have a lot of breweries. Uh -huh. Like they, they're making, you know, wines from the barley. Correct. But they are also doing from the millets. Wow. So it's an ancient grain. But in India, 
like as you all know india is a very religious spiritual land where even the seeds now these seeds the way they sow it it has a festival mm. there are prayers like when when you are doing yoga there is a prayer so even for this because indian public or indian farmer consider food as a as a goddess as a god correct. so with that holistic approach yes. they sow it correct and sri anna vishnu mentioning that sri has its roots in lakshmi yes and whenever there's laksh there's lakshmi whenever there's a goal there's a lot of abundance yes. in one's life and uh, i i hope our digital team starts showing those photographs right. which you captured in the tribal area in right. south where all that lovely treatment was given so ancient history is great and medically i would just be very upfront uh, it's very easy to access the net and you know get information on that but it's a very rich source of vitamins and minerals and you know the other story which i was sharing in the hindi one where you know murugan yes, has tinai of oxtail millet as a main prashad and tinai as oxtail millet has many many vitamins minerals more than wheat uh, inside it and um, it's not only minerals and vitamins it's also about the soluble fiber which helps to bring down the cholesterol and improve the heart health and we know heart health is a major agenda across the world so many people Absolutely. undergo heart attacks and you know, angioplasty and bypass is a major cost across the world for corporations Absolutely. and countries uh, alike and diabetes because of having a lower glycemic index uh, as compared to wheat or rice Absolutely. i think every family needs to adopt it because the moment the sugars rise slowly because mm. of millets insulin will rise slowly and we all should start knowing this that higher insulin levels are a major cause of not only diabetes and obesity but also hypertension and cholesterol and pcod and hypothyroid and snoring <laughs> and heart attack and uh, paralysis and all that so uh, insulin levels keeping them under control happens because of lower glycemic index at the same time because of lower gluten levels absolutely okay gluten is a very very inflammatory substance which is abundant in wheat okay and that's why you know since 10 years we've been adopting either kapli wheat or you know red wheat mr wheat um, jangli gehu jod gehu all those kind yes. of traditional varieties of wheat or millets you know and uh, if gluten levels are low inflammation is low insulin resistance is low insulin levels are low and low insulin level like low heart rate Hmm. is beneficial for us in right. the morning a low insulin level in the morning is very very beneficial for right. us so uh, there's a ancient divine side yeah. uh, to it there is a nutrition side to yeah. it so i mean it's very obvious absolutely that uh, wheat and rice take a little back seat for some time and let the millet take <laughs> over uh, the world yeah. because you know uh, while she's talked of malnutrition yeah. many people say no no we don't have any malnutrition in us and right, uh, right. Uh, european countries but then if you look at the malnutrition is not about calories yeah it's not about Correct. calories it's like what you were saying on sorghum or jowar yes, yes. the zinc yeah. and you know all the other iron and amino acids yeah. amino and amino acids and ions which you get from from the jowar jowar bajra i mean you'll be talking yeah. more on that uh, in terms of major and minor millets so It's it's not the malnutrition of calories. It's the malnutrition of vitamins, minerals, enzymes, antioxidants, soluble fiber, which is missing uh, from these two major grains at times. So we don't have to replace them. We can have it in the mornings. Yeah. Have your share of kapli wheat or brown rice uh, or polished rice in the morning. But evening, let the millets come in so that we can start reversing diabetes and all the lifestyle disorders. So over to you, Shandali, for the. the 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 travel that you've had very rich travel to many many villages and her analysis of india as a land and which millets is where right. the major and the minor uh, right just for the you know curiosity of the audience so so there that. are positive millets like yeah. minor millets and major millets mm. so major millets generally all people are aware of like uh, including us nebraska produces the largest sorghum sorghum board is there uh with the government of usa then uh, if you will see there are alliances there are sorghum united so there are various bodies which is working in united states of america on sorghum 
there are a lot of research even in europe mm -hmm. even in uh, african continent so all over the world now there is a huge phenomenal development in this space wow. but there are major and minor millets so india has been again privileged to have positive millets mm. now this word itself implies positive millets being the 100% you know formula for the ailments the diseases the lifestyle what you mentioned just now so these millets have been grown in the south india mm. uh, south, uh, southern part of india and these are like kodo foxtail proso brown top barnyard little millet now every this millet has a significant and instrumental benefit to the health mm. Lovely, lovely. Tinai, varagu, yeah. panavaragu, <laughs> sama, sangni, sama, kutki, kutki chena. chena. Very, very interesting name. Gada. <laughs> yes. In, in, in varai, gosh, bhagar. Varai, bhagar. Yeah, but varai, bhagar becomes a little refined. And there are some cautions that you should have uh, when you're having millets, which we'll follow through in another video, not right now. So this is a little bit about the millet talk, which we thought would be relevant for all of us. But we will have to add one more thing that why not only the health, but... Uh -huh. It has a broader phenomena. Mm -hmm. It is a climate friendly. Correct. It is a carbon friendly. Mm -hmm. It is a water friendly. Yes. So even in droughts, mm -hmm. when there are water issues in 64 degree, it is a very, very climate resilient crop. Mm -hmm. So United Nations Sustainable Development Agenda, uh -huh. because SDG goals. So imagine if you are eating millets, if you are buying millets, you are helping, contributing to your national agenda. You are accomplishing the UN agenda. You are also contributing to the farmer's sustainable livelihoods and the sustainability of the world. I think what you also mentioned very rightly in the in the video is since 1960, yes. the wheat took over and then the farmers were not getting money yeah, for you yeah. know, growing the millets. Green revolution. Because of green revolution. And now that the focus is back on millets, Hopefully, farmers will get their due, Absolutely. and Earth, Mother Earth, Earth, okay, will get its due with you know uh, better carbon footprint. And, Absolutely, you know, all the world's changes. heat is by two degrees. It's like it's been you know uh, increased, Amazing. and we are facing a lot of climate change issues. Correct, correct, correct. So I think millet is the right. I think uh, you know a tool, a security, a nutritional security for every country. Very true. So there is the ecological benefits. Yes, okay, absolutely. Health benefits. Yeah. Financial benefits, long-term sustainability, future generations benefits. Uh, but you know the thing which comes is now hardly anybody can make jawar roti. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, and the younger generation is into pasta and pizza. Right, and, right. Uh, noodles and all those kind of things. So what's the answer for that? In fact, I would like to share, we are having a lot of uh, programs even with the US that the patties like Burger King and the McDonald's, the patties also we are making of sorghum. Wow. So there are again the noodles, millet noodles, millet pasta, millet pizza, millet puffs, millet roasted chips. Mm -hmm. So everything which is junk, replacing the junk, millet, replacing the refined. Millet popcorn. Millet popcorn. <laughs> and we've tried, uh, Sharmila ji is connected with Good Mom Initiative, which is a central government initiative. We've tried at our home and our kids have loved the pastas and the pizzas and the noodles and all of that. So it's not that we can't make it tasty or younger generation friendly. It's very much there. The other thing which comes, which I think we mentioned in the other video also, is the price. <laughs> right. Because, you know, Honorable Prime Minister Modi ji going to Kuwait, UAE and popularizing. And USA it. now. Shortly we are coming to USA. Very, very nice. So the moment he visits a place and talks about it, suddenly one of the, uh, off the, the ground level information <laughs> was the distributor over there of millets made 80 crores of revenue and the prices shot up. And uh, that's the dangerous part because whenever demand increases, yeah. prices start shooting up. So what's the answer for that? Okay, because it is an international year of millets and every government, embassies, in fact, Indian government has like under the Ministry of Commerce, EPEDA, uh, even in GCC countries, UAE, we at the Gulf food, uh, everything was very, very phenomenally was done by the government of India, introducing the millet mission and how do you buy I mean, economically. So if you will see, there are Indian startups, there are Indian FPOs who are doing world across. Mm -hmm. So it may be United States, may be Germany, may be Europe, may be GCC country, UAE country, everywhere you can get affordable economical products. 
So goodmom.com, for right. example, you can have or you can connect with our FFD uh, members. I mean, especially uh, we have created a very special uh, schemes for you. So I think you all are welcome and we are all here to uh, give these services. Yeah, because if you go to the malls and some of the bigger market chain, uh, you know, what do you say, outlets, the same millet might cost you twice. Yes, maybe two and a half five times. times. Yeah, five times also a time. And FPO, farmer produce versus, organization. Farmer produce organization. FPO stands for that, so that they can be the end to end, uh, yes. you know, uh, person or the organization which gives you the produce at a lower charge. So all FFDNs watch out for goodmom.com and type in the code FFD to get the best uh, rates. And there's no excuse now for you to not go for millets with the variety, with the health benefits, with the ecological benefits and long-term benefits. I've personally benefited having millets. We've been talking about it for 10 years. It's amazing for gut health also. Um, and, you know, keeps your gut really relaxed and the microbiota improvement over there also happens. Uh, there are health benefits many people have experienced. You Absolutely. Know, so many and people. to tell you, I am being associated with freedom from diabetes and my life is transformed holistically. In fact, uh, my performance, my 360 degree appraisal is been outstanding. The results what I'm getting in my day to day work. So it is all about food. It is all about the formulas. It is all about the lifestyle changes, what doctor has taught us and what we have learned from the freedom of uh, from diabetes. So, so nice. So this is a little bit from our side in terms of message. So for the benefit of your own health, personally, at a selfish level, individually, for your kids and your family, and then for the larger good of the nation and the entire earth, let's go for millets at least in the evening. What was that sentence? Har ghar? Har ghar millet, ghar ghar millet. That is every home. We are transforming kitchens to pharmacies. Yes. So have millet. Yeah. Har ghar millet. Ghar ghar millet. Kam se kam shan ko. <laughs> at least in the evening. All right. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining in and good wishes. Enjoying millets. Thank All you right. so much. Yeah.